Uh, C fit here, Fit Bully TB. Now, if you've got a bully, if you've got a pit bull type breed, the one thing that everybody wants is a dog to be buff and strong. Hey man, I want my dog to have some muscles. Well, I would encourage you, if you want a dog to have muscles, make sure you got some muscles. Like, subscribe, and share. We're gonna talk about a little bit, a little bit about muscles today. And what to look for in meat, protein, how to make sure this whole thing works. I'm gonna even walk you through a little bit of our supplements. And again, I'm gonna keep doing that. That's our product. We gotta make sure we stay at the forefront of keeping you educated and informed so you can make good decisions about taking care of your dog's quality of life. And if I'm being honest, taking care of your own. Stay tuned. In this particular book, and again, if you're here, you should know what book this is by now. It says, protein, proteins are building blocks of life. They're the basis of all tissue, muscles, bones, tendons, ligaments. It's your hair, skin, fingernails. It's your joints, blood vessels, and organs. Protein is vital in cellular regeneration, maintenance, repair. Look, protein makes up everything. Literally everything. Down to your pinky finger and your pinky toe. So, challenges is when we ingest protein, it then breaks it down into an amino, which then creates protein. So if you say, man, what protein you take? For one, you do not take protein. You eat protein, the body breaks down the protein, and then it literally creates protein based on the protein and quality of protein that you've ingested and hopefully digested. So when you look at, you've got, we've got a little, we've got a little turkey here. We've got a little chicken here, and we've got some chicken breasts. You don't see on here that this turkey has essential amino acids. It doesn't say that anywhere. It is presumed that in this meat, this meat and the meat that's on this bone, that it's a complete source. What's a complete source of protein? For humans, anything that has the nine essential amino acids, the body can manufacture 13. In dogs, they need 10 essential amino acids. It's not on the meat. So you say, hey, why is all this important? Why does all of this matter? Well, it matters because you go through life trying to figure out how to be the best you could be. And unfortunately, nine out of 10 people are never gonna know where to begin or what to look for. If I say amino acid, you say, what's an amino acid? Then I just say, man, eat some chicken. <laughs> eat some chicken, eat some fish, eat some turkey, and you good. So what do we do for our protein? Our way, instead of guessing, we turned around and listed arginine, glycine, histidine, leucine, lysine. We listed the aminos and the percentage of aminos to the milligram in each scoop so that we can ensure that you understand what it is you're getting. And then even more importantly, how to use it. Now in the bodybuilding world and anybody who's ever worked out, again, that question always comes up, hey man, what protein are you taking? You know why? Because it's not that they're not eating. You don't think bodybuilder and he's on a diet. You think his diet is that boy probably eat six times a day. But what's the protein for? It's to help complete or top off whatever may be missing because we know food nowadays, the quality of it, the integrity of this meat, it's just not there. It's just not there. So I used to not believe in supplements to say the least. I believe in their function wholeheartedly now more than ever what i will say is beyond a reasonable doubt uh, our dogs are living and dying at a very fast 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 rate and it's our job to sustain them so if you have some puppy blocks and you're feeding with dog food i've said this before add yogurt add a couple scoops depending on what size your dog is this is for all dogs this will help your dogs this will ensure your dogs stay what growing and basically building the whole life they'll be building and breaking down building and breaking down but let me tell you this the day that your body stops rebuilding or regenerating certain things you're dead even old people's nails grow <laughs> so what i did to ensure that this is successful as well i just didn't do a bunch of bones and calcium yet because i'm still learning about things that really matter what i wanted to ensure when we put our joint supplement together that there would be focus on elasticity in the joint, but also something in joint needs, which is why there's chondroitin in there, but to help slow down the breaking down so that you could absorb the joint and protein 
collectively, you stack these two things, you add some yogurt, put it in a little fruit, definitely add it to some dog food, maybe a little raw egg, not even maybe, add a little raw egg, a poached egg, or a cooked egg. And that's going to help the dog do what? Absorb and utilize both of these supplements. And even with me feeding raw, giving the dogs the highest nutrients, the grade of nutrients and nutrition, I still make sure that I add these two things because I don't even trust the food that we're eating. We all got to die from something. People are still getting sick. You would believe it or not, even if you have, if you're in the sun quite a bit, you can get what? still like vitamin D and the funny part is is uh, one of the things that they encouraged African Americans specifically during COVID to do was get out and be in the sun right <laughs> why because literally those things help boost even your immune system it's all kinds of science back there if you want to go do your research on what the sun does for us day in and day out but what I will tell you is this good meat good food good God let's eat protein means everything it literally is, it, it, even, it even assists in the antibodies we need to fight sicknesses so that we can stay healthy. Guys, I don't know everything. I don't want to know everything. I know a lot of things. I'm going to learn a lot more things. If you have Fortify, add eggs to your dog's meal and add some Greek yogurt or pumpkin. If you have puppy blocks, and hopefully you have both, add again eggs, pumpkin, Greek yogurt, or some Billy Goat Milk, a.k.a. Goat's Milk. And definitely, if you're feeding dog food, add these plus some chicken components every now and then. And you know the famous saying, guys, just take care of your dogs.